Hi there. So I wanted to do a little bit more of a review on the um, Gorilla Erotica because that was the main point of contention that everybody seemed to have with my very brief momentary um, review. So let me start off by showing you this. This is going to be on the back of our HCFSE and really on the back of every single one of our packages. Um, it lists the top six terpenes, the flavor profile. It'll have a QR code that you can um, scan to get to the proper website that is associated with the strain. Um, of course, it'll have all the other good stuff, but we're also going to have the THC to THCA ratio, cannabinoid levels, terpene levels, CBD level if there is any. Um, yeah, so it's fairly comprehensive. Um, now, a little bit about the the name Gorilla X or Gorilla Erotica. Um, it's was originally bred by Heroes of the Farm and they sold seed packs to a few different farms, most notably Green Farms, who um, then named it Gorilla Erotica because they received it um, without a name. Um, Heroes of the Farm didn't have one for it. Um, they only named it afterwards according to Colin, who's the creative director over at Heroes of the Farm. Um, they renamed it to something really super inappropriate, um, Sneaky Rafiki, which is a term used when you are apparently having sexual intercourse with Specifically, a woman, uh, it's a heterosexual relationship here, um, and you are, you know what, I don't have to get into it. It's super gross. And I um, expressed my distaste for the name, and I was so surprised because Heroes of the Farm um, changed the name immediately. Uh, they did not know, at least Colin did not know what the meaning of the name was, or the name of the meaning, yeah. And he, he changed it, so that's super cool. Um, but we're gonna still go with Gorilla Erotica because we got our material from you Green Farms. So Gorilla Erotica is um, a mixture of Gorilla Snacks and um, Scooby Snacks. And Scooby Snacks is a um, the Platinum Girl Scout cookies mix with uh, Face Off OG. And Gorilla Snacks is, uh, of course, Gorilla Glue 4 and Guinness with a back cross of Scooby Snacks. Wow, this is taking forever. It's already been three and a half minutes. Okay, on to the flavors. The flavors again are, um, you know, fuel, mint, raspberry, fermented rum, uh, a little bit of hard candy, but I wanna throw in there that it's got a, definitely a little bit of cloves, orange, and the hard candy would be more of like an orange hard candy. I know it's a little bit of a distinction, but I don't know, anyway. Um, it's got a total, the, the HCFSE, which stands for High, Ter um, high Cannabinoid Full Spectrum Extract, um, and it's got a total of 6.4% terpenes, in the extract itself. <sighs> Holy Jesus, there's so much information that I went ahead and did. Um, it's got 1.7% um, limonene, 1.3% uh, beta carophylline, 1.1% um, beta myrcene, as well as 0.5% phytol, 0.4% alpha humulene, and 0.3% alpha pinene. Um, and I wanted to discuss a little bit about what those specific terpenes do because everybody seems to be really interested in that. Um, limonene, of course, is commonly associated with um, citrusy smells, lemony smells. It's found in grapefruit, raspberries, lemons, and it's definitely going to be contributing to the Gorilla Erotica's raspberry taste. 
Um, it's thought to help provide relief from anxiety and stress. And clearly I haven't smoked any today because woo! Um, sorry. beta carotheline, uh, which has got, as I said earlier, 1.3% beta carotheline in the Gorilla Erotica. Um, it's going to be contributing to the, the herb, the herbal taste, the, the mint and cloves that um, the Gorilla Erotica has. Uh, it's found in, um, it's found in rosemary, no, sorry, rosemary and cloves. Um, and it's apparently helps to 